Hey guys, my name is Jason with s &J Forest Products and today we're at my house and I've got some planter boxes going. I'm going to sow some tree seeds into it so we can get some seedlings going for the next couple years of planting. So I'll show you kind of what I did here to get my planter boxes and how I'm going to put my seedlings in there and make cold frames out of them. So here's one of the empty boxes. I just made these out of some cedar that I had and it's just a 4x4 four four in each corner and two 2x6s two running the length of it there. And I got windows on it to make cold frame. And I've got my kids helping me today. So what we're going to do here is we've got a, this is a little three by three planter box I got. I'm going to line them with plastic so the seedling roots don't get down into the main dirt and it's real hard to get them out. But I don't want to turn it into a bathtub either. So I'm going to poke a bunch of holes there so the water drains. Can you go in there and poke holes? Show them how you poke holes. There you go. Poke some holes down there. There you go, perfect, lots of holes. Many holes that you can make. And that'll help the water drain out so it doesn't turn into a bathtub. But there'll be enough plastic there where hopefully the roots hit that barrier and when we're ready to pull them out in the spring, we can just sift through the topsoil I got. This is just topsoil I bought from the farm store. It's like a three-way topsoil. Sandy, compost, dirt. That'll work good for our seed starts. So now the real work begins. I got to get all that dirt into the planter boxes. Well, there's our first one all filled up and I just took a little paving cinder block there and tamped it all down. I've got probably two or three inches from the lip. So we've got enough room for our seedlings to start coming up there under the window. And now I'm going to come around with scissors and just clean up the black plastic around the edge. We'll put the window on top. I'll show you when it's all done. All right, we got all the plastic trimmed up there. I'm using my I'm using my wife's kitchen scissors. Don't tell her. So here it is when it's all said and done. I got my window on there, and I got a little gap along the edge for some airflow in there. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Do you think that gap's good, or should I seal that up with some boards when it gets real cold in the early spring, February, and March? And then after that. We'll get these next two going. There's one. There's another one there with some seedlings and starts in it. So we'll get those filled up and then we can start getting some seeds in them. Well, here's my helper. She must be related to me, huh? Playing in the dirt in her socks. Well, we'll take a quick look here. Here's the three that are finished. That big window goes on that one. Skirt around the greenhouse here. Here's one I got, this is another little project. My dad's big into grafting fruit trees. So that'll probably be a video for another day. But we got this one, this is a two by eight, I believe. And then we got the bigger one down here that's a two by 10. And I got, got my windows already. So now we'll get some seeds in these things. See if we can get them germinated in the spring. Oh, and then here, you guys might be interested in this. These are uh, black walnut starts that I started this year, this spring, and yeah, just in these tubs, see if they could germinate. And some of them did really good. I mean, I think I put 50 all together in there and I got 40 something to germinate. So these will go out in my uh, black walnut pasture there, black walnut field. So I gotta get these planted out in the, in the fall here in the next couple months, get seeds in these. And we'll do a video on fruit tree grafting as well. And well, heck, while we're here, I know someone's gonna ask, so I might as well show you. I'm fascinated with citrus. So I'm in Northwestern Washington, about as close to Canada as you can get. And I'm growing citrus. So these are uh, limes. we have got a bunch of limes. That's a lime, that's a lime. I've got some lemons up here. That's a lemon. That's a lemon, not looking very good. Another lime, this one's got fruit on it. Got little limes on it. So those will ripen here in the next little while. That's another lime, I believe. I've got a pineapple going. And then this one here is a grapefruit I started from seed. Also not doing very well. It's kind of hard to keep up with these for pot sizes around here. Uh, and it's also, they don't like the cold, obviously. 
There's some more fruit coming there on that lime tree. That one there. The blooms on these smell amazing. I love the smell of these blooms in the spring. But I'm giving the, the citrus thing a go. And so far, I've had, I mean, this one has been four or five seasons now. It'll get real cold here sometimes where it gets down into the 20s and even the teens. But I bring them in the garage and keep them from freezing. And I seem to be doing okay with them. And I just bought this little greenhouse on, I don't know where I got it, Amazon or something. It's just a little, maybe a five by eight or a six by eight little greenhouse. And it works, works great for me. Keeps the, especially when it gets, you know, in the high twenties, I don't even worry about it. It doesn't freeze in there. And the citrus, as long as they don't freeze, they seem to be doing fine. So anyway, that's the greenhouse, but let's get some seeds in these seed beds and see if we can get them germinate in the spring. Here's one of my wife's plants out here in the porch. And we used to live under a bunch of cedar trees. And these all got germinated from those seeds that the cedar trees would fall off in the fall. And so I think I'm going to dig some of these up and put them right in the seed bed. I'll kind of christen the seed bed with these starts. But these are four or five years old. And they're just little weenie things. They're crowded. We don't, we don't water this very well in the summer. And so they're pretty stunted, but there's a lot of, a lot of really good cedars here. So I'm going to, let's transplant these out in that seed bed right now before we get any seeds in there and see if we can get these kind of jump started for the spring. All right, I'm just going to try with a couple of screwdrivers here, get in there and get that all loosened up. See if I can get these seedlings going. Oh, there you go. Now you can see. All right. Well, I need two hands. So let me, let me get these dug up and I'll show you kind of how it worked and if it worked. Well, I'm just wreaking havoc in this pot. It's just a mass of roots. And at first I was trying to be gentle and kind of ease them out of there, but now I'm just kind of getting the screwdrivers in there, loosening them up as best I can, and just ripping them out. Here's what I got. There's dozens of, of starts in here, little seedlings. So I don't know how many are, are going to make it. I, like I say, I, I ripped the tar out of them getting them out of there but hopefully if i can get them spaced out about four inches apart they'll have a lot more space to uh grow and even though i kind of screwed up the roots if i can get them if i can get them going again and established i think i got a lot of starts here i'll try and show you here it's just there's probably a dozen little cedars in here and i'm going to try and just work them apart as best I can it's this is this is not ideal here but we're going to try and get these sorted out but if you can get like there's one there's a little cedar look at him in the ground but I just got to be real real gentle pulling these guys apart keeping as many roots as I can I think all the white roots are from the boxwood and the cedar have these dark red roots. So let me get these sorted and get them in the seed bed. Well, holy cow, I terribly miscalculated there. I thought I was gonna get like 25 seedlings over here in the corner, uh, but in, in that one pot of that little boxwood, there's 178 starts here. So I got my big my big planter is about half, a third anyway, almost half full already. <laughs> Starts, I just, I'll just put some in there on a whim kind of, you know. But they're Western Red Cedar. They grow really well in my site. And I figure each one of these, if I was to buy them, this is, this is a beautiful specimen, right? So, so this one I could have planted out this spring. But if I can get all of these to look like this one by a year from now, next fall, They'll all be worth a dollar. I would I would pay a dollar if I bought them like this as starts. And so I've got almost $200 worth of stuff here, which is paid for all the dirt. You know, the cedar was stuff I, I had. Um, I scrounged the windows and stuff. And so it's, it's paid for everything already. And I haven't even put any seeds in the ground yet. And, you know, the fun was free. So, <laughs> but I've got, I got, 
just a whole bunch of really nice cedar going here. I don't know if they're all going to survive. There was th some that had that their roots dried out pretty, pretty good on this side when I was kind of done planting. But I think they're pretty resilient and they've been choked out for a long, long time. So hopefully getting them nice and watered now, spaced out. They're about one by two inches spacing, one inches in the rows and the rows are two inches apart. And hopefully that'll allow them to get a lot of good nutrients, a lot of good water and grow up and I'll have a whole seed bed that look like this next fall. And then the spring of 2024, I'll be able to plant these out on in the forest. But now we got to get some seeds going in these other beds. Well, it's our big planting day. We've come down, made some little rows here. We got grandpa and the kids helping. Right over here. And this whole bed is going to be all cedars. But here's our little cedar seeds. Like you want them covered about a quarter to a half inch thick with soil. And we spaced our rows about four to six inches apart. And I also put all the seeds in. Yeah, and Sienna, my daughter, put all the seeds in. So we'll get these covered up and protected from the squirrels and the birds. Here's Logan doing some dug fur. And same process, we got our our rows there, they're maybe a little bit too deep, but so I think they'll be okay. This, right? Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Entrepreneur at age nine. But I did this one maybe a little bit heavy. Yeah. And Logan did this one. And then I fixed fixed it. You fixed it, yeah. I, I fixed both. Yeah. So, and these are all dug firs, so we'll see if we can get some nice dug fur going. And cedars in the other bed. All right. Dad filled it in, probably more than I should have. We got, I'd rather have more that I have to thin out once they germinate than have less and have it all spotty. So Logan's covering up our seeds, seed rows there. And hopefully this spring we'll have a bunch of dug fur coming up here. Yeah, and then what do you plan to do with these, Dad? Well, we'll put, plant them down at Skagit. So each one of these seedlings in a couple of years will be worth about a dollar a piece. Nice. Okay, what do you got? I got all of this done now. I'm going to cover up all of it. Okay, cover it up. And you just do this and you just cover it over lightly. There you go. Nice. Look at all those little baby cedar trees ready to go. Every one of those is a dollar. A dollar? Yep. Every one of those trees that grows up that we don't have to buy is a dollar. That's a good... Or... So, if people want to buy your plants, they have to give you a dollar for each one? Well, we're going to plant all these down at Skagit. And then... And that's I'm Skagit. done! These are some alpine fir seeds that I got up by the mine this last fall. Mm -hmm. And they're a lot bigger. And so I think we can just take one and put it in there like that and make sure you got a seed and put them about that far apart and okay we'll see if we can progress. make see if we can make alpine fur grow down in the lowlands yeah well there we go that took about 30 seconds yeah we just sprinkled them in there and and that was really easy and i'm getting paid can i cover can i cover can uh, i cover oh uh, yeah cover? you can cover the last two Thanks. Oh, what one nice brother yeah I was like, don't cut that part out because everyone wants to know I'm a nice brother. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Bye. See you next time. And here they are all put to bed. Got the windows on them. There's our cedars. Doug fir and alpine are over there. And these windows are going to act like a little greenhouse in the spring, warm them up. A little bit sooner and it'll keep the squirrels and the birds and the cats out of here for this winter so stay tuned for an update on this one and we'll see if this spring or summer we got some seedlings going so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video